Dr. Chol Kim here from sunny San Diego, California. Another beautiful Thursday. This is a patient all the way from Utah. She is only 27 years old, but she has unremitting genital pelvic dysesthesias and pelvic pain. And she's traveled all around the country to try to figure out what can be done about this. And after an extensive workup, uh, we found that this, she has this Tarlov cyst. We did a caudal epidural diagnostic injection and she got 95% improvement in the first two hours, 70% improvement for about a week, and then all the symptoms came back uh, thereafter. So we're very confident that this is contributing to her symptoms. So we will do the perfect Tarlov cyst excision using all the latest, greatest tricks. First, we all called each other to color coordinate ourselves so that we can all match in a pretty blue color. Then we brought in the O-arm, which is a, essentially a portable CT machine. We've got big T right here. My man with the plan. We'll get a three-dimensional image stored in the navigation computer. That's the navigation system right there. There's the navigation satellite camera. There is Kenzie, my PA. There is Brittany, our neurophysiology technician. Dr. O, our stellar anesthesiologist. She's like an evolved human being. More about that later. We have neural monitoring, of course, and the mental invasive system from Globus, and the FOSS, Luke, the FOSS. So we're gonna do a, as good of a job as we can. This is gonna be a very difficult one. It's a large paralysis, so wish us some luck. Okay, three millimeter question. Now maybe. Could I put your other sucker right here? The Bible, the Torah, and learn lessons, and it's so thin. Whoa, because that's a fit. Uh -huh, the drill tube is expanded and thinned out because it's stretched out. Alrighty, I've got everything exposed. Now I'm going to put, so it goes from here. Look how nasty and inflamed this looks. So that's normal right there. I'm going to put a stitch there as a holding stitch. I'm going to put stitch approximately as a holding stitch. I'm gonna use it as two anchors. And then I'm gonna incise it and do everything. Got the Tarlov cyst exposed. I've got a stay stitch approximately. Look how narrow it is approximately. Got a stay stitch distally. There's almost nothing distally. And then look at this thing. The first thing to notice is, look at how injected the drill tube is. Look at all this stuff on the dural tube. And then two, I don't know if you can see how translucent it is, but there's, a period, there's an area right here where there's absolutely no nerves. I'm gonna open it right there. 11 blade. Lucky us! So inside the dural tube. So check this out. The first thing is, this should come pouring out. But look, there's these tiny little membranes that hold the water in. Water, you know what I mean. Spinal fluid. Here it comes. So it's not a single cystic cavity like a synovial cyst. It's a honeycomb. Basically, inflammation of all the tiny little reticular membranes that basically organize the nerve rootlets. Because they don't just sit there and float around willy-nilly. There's an organized pattern. To have an organized pattern, it has to have adhesions. Look at that. I it out. 
So all the nerves are probably plastered to the wall now. Wow, this is like a non-ramen noodle sign Tarlov cyst. Look at all this inflammation wow. and adhesions. It's crazy. Look at that nerve root. Look how scary that nerve root is. Look at that. Gnarly size, too. All right, so that's the SCD nerve root over there. Yep, this is the SCD nerve root over here. Wow. And look at how the dural tube. So look at the S3 nerve root. Almost no adhesions. It's just free. But look at this dural tube. It is just stuck circumferentially everywhere. Okay, that's looking really good. Let me get that bleeder right here, bipolar. Septations forming right here, right next to my left sucker. Look at that. Watch it'll get full. Look at that. See that? See how it gets full and then it doesn't get full? Right here. Watch. Can you do a Valsalva? Yeah, Watch this with the Valsalva. That's going to get really big. Ready? Go. Look at that thing. See that? It's a cyst within a cyst right there. Can you suck right in here? Okay, and then it collapsed when she let go. Wow. Look at that. The nerves are just completely plastered along the wall of the dural tube. So now I gotta find a wall. A, whole area where there's no nerve stuck to it. I think that's good right there. Look at that. Can I have the nerve hook now? Very nice. Okay, I think I'll be able to imbricate all this right here. All that right there. Oh, yes. God, we got lucky. See that? So all that is clear on that side. That is, this is all clear. Until we get to right here. Can I have those pickups, please? A bit up more. There you go. Yep, right there. Put your sucker right in here. Suck right there for a second. Can you put it like that? There you go. Nerve hook. Can you put your sucker right there? Thank you. Look at this. This is like a little funky cavity. All right, I got distal. Look how thin the membrane is right there. It's crazy. I've got that whole leaflet clear. I've got this leaflet clear. Barely. Yep, I got it. 
I'm gonna start closing. Okay, let me see. The, show me inside there. That's my inner sphincter, don't worry. This is such a thing of beauty if you're into this sort of thing, but I don't know if you remember how big this thing was, but look how dainty and spelt it is now. But more importantly, look how stuck down everything is. That is a separate nerve root right there. See that? Look at, look at how stuck down this is. Yep. You better get better because I am feeling so good about this surgery. Look at that. It's like a revision operation practically. There's so much adhesions. Uh, of course, I get the bleeder right when I'm about to get done. Because you know, my mama always said, it's fine to be a lot easier without blood vessels and nerves. Bipolar. Oh, I'm feeling good. I was dreading this surgery all last night going, why do I sign up for these difficult surgeries? Why, why, why? But now that I'm here, I'm really glad you're here. Well, I'll tell you why, because Erwin Goldstein makes me. If it wasn't for Erwin, I'd be like, sorry, I don't do this surgery. Little blib right here, I went whoop, got really big. Not no more, your okay, can relax. We're done, kind of. I gotta close everything up. There's two little what? Wings. Wow. Let's see, pen feel four now. You guys have the tissue available, right? Oh, whatever. Nerve hook, the big one, not the little button. Ohio players. Okay, just hold that up right. To seal. Was CD kicking in? That looks kind of good. Fibrin sealant. How cool is that? This is what our blood does. Look at how it gets gelatinous like that. 
All righty, surgery's all done. It went so well. I'm so happy we're able to do it through that little incision right there. And the video will show you all the work that we did. It was awesome. Tons of inflammation. We found all the things that we're hoping to find. So we're all rooting for you. We're all praying for a great result. So best wishes on a full and rapid recovery. Right, guys? Yeah. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. And we love people from Utah, especially if they're Mormon.